have with me Bob Faxton of Faxton Firearms. He's going to show us something a little bit different in an AR platforms. And I know, wait, you've seen a lot of ARs. You've seen a lot of different AR uppers. This is something different. Take a look. Bob, tell us about it. Hi, thank you. This is the ARAC 21. This is a billet aluminum machined upper with a forward operating system that allows for a foldable stock, mm -hmm. not collapsible. It also pins to any standard AR lower. Now that's without modification. No modifications. You don't have to do a thing to it. And you don't harm the lower, you can always put your other upper back on. Okay. It's a billet aluminum upper receiver. It's made out of one four and a half pound block. Mm. It's milled down to eight ounces. Wow, that's a lot of move, move. Yeah, and it gives it a lot of structural integrity. If we move forward, it has a 15 inch integral Picatinny rail all across the top side, mm -hmm. and it's trained to the barrel through keyways. We use a barrel assembly unit. On the front, we have the detachable Picatinny rails mm -hmm. on both sides. On the aluminum Picatinny rails, we incorporate a heat shield gasket that heat, keeps the heat from transferring from the upper receiver to the handguards. We also have the detachable Picatinny rail on the bottom, mm -hmm. and if you want, we make one with an integral Picatinny. So that if you put a grenade launcher, a smoke smoke launcher, or a uh, bipod, it can be integral. The lower picket, the lower forearm is attached with six screws with aircraft-grade helicoils mm. and four pins to secure its location. Okay. On the front of it, we use a gas piston long stroke modified system. What that means is we have three settings with a variable gas port. We have a normal operation, suppressed operation, and then we have a no gas situation. That allows for a single shot operation with your uh, AR-15. You know, I put so big advantage there, being able to shut it off for suppressor using a suppressor, and now you're not leaving any brass behind. Exactly. It, that's beautiful. Yes, with the no gas system, it doesn't allow any noise to, re to be out of the action. It keeps the bolt closed. That's sweet. That's sweet. This also offers a forward charging handle, and the forward charging handle is foldable mm -hmm. so that it can be moved forward, get out of the way of gear. Then you pull it out for use. Mm -hmm. It's also non-reciprocating. Okay. And it's also spring return. Mm -hmm. And it is ambidextrous. We can take this out and put it on either side of the gun for operation. Okay, excellent. The other feature this gun has is we can interchange barrels in less than two minutes. We offer a 5.56 slash 223 barrel, and we also offer a 300 blackout barrel. And we can change that with one Allen wrench in two minutes. Wow, show us that. Okay. On the bottom of the lower, we have a forearm that has six screws that hold it on. All six of these screws go into an aircraft-grade helicoil in the aluminum so it doesn't strip out. Mm -hmm. It also has four pins for alignment in these four holes. Okay, so you're not going to make a mistake lining it up. Correct. And when you bolt this rail onto this gas block, mm -hmm. this gas block is about seven thousandths higher than the housing. So it actually spring loads and keeps this in place. There are three keyways here here and here uh -huh. that align the barrel trunnion or the gas block to the upper receiver. Well, let's just slide that into place. Okay, I can see all three uh, right here. One, two, three cutouts on the receiver. Got it. That holds the barrel in place. Mm -hmm. Now, to show you how the action and the bolt are different, right. show you that. And that's and you said you have two different calibers right now, five five six Correct. and three hundred blackout. Yes. And all I need to do is just what you showed me that's to it. change barrels. Two minutes. Great. Six set screws. And the set screws won't fall out. They're captive. I like that. Yeah, in the field. Okay. Captive. Great. No no loose parts. Good ideas. To remove the bolt carrier in this weapon, all you do is push on the lower recoil lug inward and downward and it removes itself. Okay. So, so it's it's kind of hooked into a notch in the yes. upper receiver. To put it back in, you simply push it in and up, and it's locked in place. Okay. Now to take the recoil spring out, you do the same thing. Push it in down and remove the recoil spring. Uh huh. And the recoil spring uses two springs. The first spring is 95% of the stroke, so this it's nice and first, smooth. Yes. You consider this the first spring. Correct. Okay. And the recoil spring guide rod connects, hits with the spring connector. That takes the first spring out of the equation and puts the second spring in. This is that's the second spring. Correct. And that's the buffer spring before it actually hits its hard stop. So it makes a very soft recoil impulse. So you've got a built-in buffer, essentially. It, absolutely. And it's a non-rubber, non-deteriorating component. It's a solid spring. 
Excellent. Here's another feature that's fairly important. The bolt carrier is different, and it actually rides on heat treating and hardened rails. If you feel the way this moves back and forth. Yeah, it's very slick. Into very smooth. And the bolt alignment is guaranteed by wow, the machining. That's the a lockup right there. I can that's feel it. that. It's like There's it's no like butter. Worker. That's right. It's supposed to be like it's riding on ball bearings. These are heat treated and coated rails. They're mm -hmm. 58 to 62 Rockwell steel. No aluminum on metal interface at all. And the alignment of the bolt to the, to the uh, barrel trunnion should be zero. All that's machined at one time. To remove the bolt, the bolt carrier, it simply slides out the back. Okay. And the difference is that you'll see in this bolt, there are eight lugs, not seven. Mm -hmm. They're rounded, not square. And you'll see the extractor is actually at three o'clock, not two o'clock. All right. The reason for that, we offer a right and left-handed model. If you if you remove the cam pin, mm -hmm. you can turn this bolt 180 degrees, and it functions as a left-handed bolt, so they're not unique parts. However, the receiver, the upper is receiver, unique. is dedicated to right or Correct. left. Correct. We have okay. right or left-hand receivers, okay. but the bolt is common. Upper receiver, yeah. Correct. Upper receiver. Now, the other thing is, there are no cotter pins on this to remove the firing pin. There's a self-contained firing pin retention system. By pushing this lever down right here, mm -hmm. it allows this gate to come up. Okay, I see it. And that gate actually allows the firing pin to be removed. Nice. So there are no loose pieces on the firing pin. Now, does it use a standard AR-15 firing pin? Yes. The only components in this opera that are the same as in an AR-15 will be the firing pin, the extractor spring, and the ejector spring. So that's really the features of it. So it's a piston-driven system. Yes. So we don't we eliminate all the gas tube and all those kinds of problems. So now you have the advantage of like an AK. Yes. And uh, I see the carrier advantages. I love the rapid change of the barrel and the being able to have more than one caliber and being rigid. Uh, a lot of different ideas here. Now, your company provides just the upper receiver assemblies. You're not building complete guns. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And I've got to ask the money question here. What is a suggested retail going to be on this product? Suggested retail on a right or left hand of any of the colors, red, blue, green, doesn't matter, black, is going to be $11.99 for an upper with one barrel, any caliber, any length, any profile. It's fourteen forty nine if you want to buy the upper receiver with two barrels. That allows you to get the five five six and the three hundred blackout in any profile or length. This That's basically, pretty exciting. This is the operating system of the gun right here. That's as simple as it gets, and all this rides on rails for alignment in a unitary upper. Bob, I'm going to ask you one more question because I find this interesting. Tell us a little bit more about the company itself in the background. You're not a typical gun company. No. Fax and Firearms is about four months old and has been working on this for a year and a half, but the machining aspect of this is Fax and Machining, and we're a 35-year-old company that's a Tier 1 automotive supplier and defense supplier. We do aerospace, nuclear, oil and gas, so we have a 165,000 square foot facility. We looked, and I saw the AR and the AK competing like Ford and Chevy, and I thought, there are good things in both, and I didn't understand why nobody had put both of the features, all the features of both guns into one gun. And I never like to take a new gun and throw away what I had just bought for my lower, my trigger assembly, my mag pole, or my stocks. I didn't want to do that. So I thought, how do you give a consumer a 21st century upper action with all the features they want and not have to penalize them financially or to throw something away that they just bought? So we wanted to make something that was machined to high tolerances. This is our business is making parts. We make all of these components in-house, including the gun drilling, the rifling. We make our own barrels, our own bolts, our own uppers. We do everything but the springs and screws. Fantastic. Bob Faxon, Faxon Firearms, and uh, I'm actually going to get a couple of these. I'm going to buy one personally just to try it out. We'll put your name on it. Okay, sounds Thanks good. Thanks for the time. Thank you. I'm here with Ron Norton in uh, Kiapa's booth. Uh, Ron uh, and AGI and GCA go back a ways. Um, Gosh, Ron's president of uh, Kiapa USA? Uh, Kiapa Firearms LTD, yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Um, and they're headquartered in Ohio. Now, Ron's helped us tremendously uh, in 2012 getting us uh, guns and demonstrating them at, uh, uh, at our uh, gun stock event. Uh, we're talking about some stuff we may do in the future, and uh, their firearms are just really outstanding. So we've got... Got a chance to shoot uh, some of these firearms out at the range on Monday. 
So we'll let uh, Ron talk about them. We've got three and a half guns here. So Ron, tell me about them. Well, one of our first guns for 2013 we want to go over is our new Model 27. It's a lineup, part, part of our personal defense lineup. Uh, basically, it's a hybrid between a CZ-75 and a SIG-229. Uh, I'm very fond of both of those uh, type of firearms. Amen. Uh, they've got some great features. And uh, I want to see what we could do if we sort of melted it together. Uh, it has the inverted slide, similar to the CZ-75. Uh, the pistol is alloy and steel and weighs in at 25 ounces. Wow. So it's available in 9mm and 40 uh, caliber. I noticed that that uh, double action pull felt very TZ to me, which is as good as they come in it's these guns. It's a very, very smooth trick, a double action pull. Yeah. Uh, this particular model is double action, single action, yes. with the capability of um, cock and lock mode for single, uh, single double. And extremely ac uh, very accurate this this pistol will shoot a ragged hole at 25 yards uh, we're very proud of it uh, we also offer it in a double action only version mm -hmm. uh, and this retails for 499 so we've got a great product great design uh, at affordable price tell them that's the most amazing thing which is that reset distance the reset is just um maybe get a see it here as we go in the reset is just maybe an eighth of an inch reset it's yeah. just very fast everybody that tries it goes wow <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's gonna be a great uh, concealed carry and when, what we've come up with is it's a pistol that's small enough to conceal but it's big enough to uh, be a duty uh, to take care of them so it's right. a great platform outstanding I gotta get one. Oh, you didn't tell us did you tell us what the price point price, price point $4.99 outstanding now one product that has just absolutely stopped this, everybody in their tracks. This is the half. Yeah, well, yeah, this is the half portion. We'll bring out the rest of it here. Okay. Uh, this is part of our Triple Crown series. This is a triple threat. It's a 12-gauge shotgun and with three barrels. Uh, chambered 3-inch magnum, offers a rim choke uh, for all three barrels. This particular model, we have the optional uh, breechers on there. It makes a very uh, intimidating uh, business end of let me, let me sh hold that for a second will you right? absolutely now tell me this is not the world's greatest anti-carjacking weapon when roscoe walks up to the window and says give me your car keys and you pull this up over the windowsill roscoe's gonna say maybe i could loan you some money <laughs> yeah i mean i cannot imagine anything more intimidating than that to be peeking at that yeah, one gentleman told me today there was nothing more intimidating than a double barrel until now <laughs> oh, yes there is <laughs> So, and, and the interesting thing is, of course, now Gene tried to shoot it with one hand, and he down there hit the, yes. dropped it on the ground. Yes. Which I'm sorry, we didn't mention that, Gene. I did not say that. Um, but it's actually much easier to shoot than you would think. If any of you have shot a cruiser gripped uh, 870, this is way, way easier because you've got a whole lot more weight out here yes, at the end. It's a very comfortable platform to shoot. Uh, and very fast. With this uh, single trigger, it's a mechanical design, so we've got the simplicity and reliability. Uh, we've got a, a YouTube video. If you get a chance to take a look at it. it just shows how fast this uh, shotgun can be. Well, I noticed uh, it, it feels like a semi-auto. It's just bam, bam, bam. Exactly. It, it is so fast and so smooth. And it's an outstanding In fact, trigger. we put a timer on it. The fastest time we've got with three shots so far is a .22 seconds. Oof. So that's, oh, no, that's, that's serious fast. stuff. Let me ask you one question, though. Does the does it reset position every time you close it? It the barrels rotate left, right, and upper, okay. and every time you close it, it will reset the hammers to left, right, so, and upper. To left, right, and upper. Okay. Right. So uh, and that way we've got the just a very simple mechanical design right. that is very reliable. Absolutely. Uh, and you you've got that for home defense. It just is tremendous. Yeah. If you want to go if you want to go seven and a half, seven and a half, and and. Uh, number one buck you're fine you get if you exactly. can't get it done though with two rounds of, of uh, seven and a half inside the house you probably need to take up right. a different and one thing that i saw is use something like um like lightfield's nova round the yeah. concussion round put that in the first barrel uh, say bird shot on your next one and double lot so it's uh, please don't come in don't come in i told you you shouldn't have come in <laughs> <laughs> so and with this um uh, we didn't know we want to offer it with a pistol grip or full stock so we chose to go both we have the option with a two-piece stock. All that. the triple threats will come uh, in this configuration. Actually, they'll come like this as a pistol grip uh, shotgun with an accessory um, uh, butt addition. 
So you have to take the uh, butt pad the off. Butt pad off, and it just threads right on, okay. and you've got a full sock version. Yeah, I really like that with the two pieces of brass on there. It's outstanding. Uh, and this shotgun, uh, along with um, our field version, the Triple Crown, which is a 28 inch barrel, uh, retails for $16.29. And uh, they'll be shipping in March. Yeah, well, that is uh, serious defense and serious whatever else you feel like doing with it. Now, if that's not serious enough, now we have to really get serious with simplicity. Yeah, because if this goes to your little daughter, now you're serious. This is serious. Look at this. This is outstanding. I, Everybody that sees this goes, wow, my grandson, my granddaughter, whatever, I got to get this. I want to build a youth rifle, but the problem I saw with so many youth rifles is you invest in a nice rifle that the kids outgrow in a year. That's right. Uh, Happened to me. My what, dad bought me a Marlin 39 Mountie. And within a year, I was bigger, and he said, for, for 30 years, he said, I wish I'd gotten a rifle. <laughs> well, with this uh, rifle, we've got a collapsible stock. It has an inch of adjustment, mm -hmm. but the, the wire stock is so inexpensive and easily to change that you can get an extra stock, chop it down, and have it as short as you want, so you've got the right fit for the child. Well, I know, because I, I can't tell you how many uh, kids' guns that I've chopped the stock off an inch and a half and put a butt, butt pad on it or put a put the plate back on it and ground it down and about a year later I put another up. big spacer in it but now I have to put another butt pad on it now I gotta put something else on it because now it doesn't match right and I've got some that must have eight spacers as the kids grew up and this way I like that a lot better and, uh, and you can extend it out for the big kids yeah. I mean uh, like us the rifle folds uh, 16 and a half inch barrel it'll fold down and goes into a small uh, little carrying bag that comes with the rifle Retail on this rifle is 179. Wow. Uh, a single shot available in 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, and um, for those who want to add extra accessories, it's threaded with a half 28 thread. So the ubiquitous half by 28. So. It's a, it makes a great youth rifle, good survival rifle, good camp rifle, uh, just nice and simple. Can I try that? I didn't get Absolutely. a chance to shoot that. Hold that for me. Certainly. And at three and a half pounds, it's amazing how much recoil the 22, 22 you will feel. That's a very nice trigger on there. Yeah, very nice trigger on it. And if you want to change it, there's nothing simpler than a sear and a notch and a hammer trigger to adjust. Exactly. All right. That's outstanding. Well, Ron, I really appreciate you taking your okay. time. Thank, Thank you. you very much.